Okay, we're going to redo the part that didn't come out so well on the video last time because it was blurred. So let's hope we get better results this time. And what I did first was I set up a binary tree with some names of some countries. And here's the order that we had them in. The first one was France. And then after that came Japan. That's greater in alphabetical order, so it goes there. Next was Germany which is greater than France, but less than Japan, which means it comes there. Then Albania. Albania goes to the left because it's alphabetically before France. Then Madagascar is bigger than France, bigger than Japan, and that's where we have Madagascar. Then Kenya, greater than France, greater than J Japan, K comes before M, and that's where Kenya would go. Then we had South Korea. S comes after F, J, and M. And the last one that we had was Zimbabwe, which is bigger than F, J, M, and S. And that's what we ended up with there. Yeah. Now, what does the iterator do? The iterator starts by going to the smallest item in the tree, which is A. Then we go and look for the successor. Because there are no children here, we have to go up to the F and get that as a successor node. There are right children for F, and we want to find the smallest right child, which is G. That comes next, moving up to the parent, which is J. Now we can move down to the right, and the smallest thing in J's right subtree is K. K has to move back up to its parent, which is M. And then from M, the successor, since they um, is going to be S, and from S we get Z. And that is going to take us through the entire um, tree in, in an iterative manner, and that's what our iterator has to do. So it has to find the minimum node, and then it has to find successor nodes until it gets to this one, and there are no successors, and that note means that we're finished. So that was the first one that I had to um, re-record. Um, we also did removing things from this tree. So the first thing, for example, we wanted to do was remove Japan. What we then did was we found the successor node. The successor node of J is K. That means the contents of K will replace what used to be there after we splice out the K and there's nothing left there. And by the way, our binary tree search tree property is still holds. G is to the left of K, and M, S, and Z are to the right. Um, let's go back and restore this to where it was. And then if we wanted to get rid of S, we would find its successor, splice out the successor, and Z would go in there. Now, a more complicated removal is if we want to remove this node, France. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to find the successor node, which means we have to find the minimum right child, which is G. Then we want to splice it out. And then the G goes in here. And again, everything is still in binary search tree order in terms of it is everything still has the binary search tree property okay those are fairly um, non-complicated removals so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a tree where the doing a removal is a slightly trickier okay um, here's a little bit more complicated one I want to remove the five that means the successor node is going to go in where 5 does. Yeah. This means 
The successor is the smallest item in the right subtree, which is going to be the 7. I have to splice out the 7. What this means is that I'm going to have to take away this node temporarily. The 8 now must move to the left of 9. And then that allows me to put my 7 in there. And that um, takes out the 5 from that tree. So sometimes when you do a splice out, something that was on the right moves over to be the left node in order to keep the binary tree prop search tree property going. And those are the things that didn't come out very clearly the first time I did this recording, and I hope that the focus is a little bit better this time.